Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Chelsea and they face Brentford. Yes, thanks as always Derek, we've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, so many terrific players have come through German youth academies in recent years. One such player is Kai Havertz. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another goal today because he's got four in the last three games. He's a player full of confidence, and every time he makes a forward run, he looks as though he's going to get in behind. He's in outstanding form at the moment. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Ngoro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4 5 1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And the contest begins. Strong but fair tackle. Ngolo Conte possession lost well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area Havertz now with Jorginho Marcus Alonso the delivery towards the back post but it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over Ericsson Ivan Tony. plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce and ready to strike oh that's really high class goalkeeping but hang on Offside is the decision here. Marcos Alonso. Now with Jorginho. Hudson Odoi. Marcos Alonso. Good movement. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. And a fine cross, and they deal with the threat this time. Well, racing past his man, Jorginho, and a bit short with the clearance. Mount, there it is, the first goal of the derby, a special moment.
Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. And back underway, 1-0 it is. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, he was very keen to give them the advantage, but instead it will be a free kick now. The referee might well have been tempted to book him for that, resisted the temptation. And God or Conte, that's what he does. Jorginho. Conte now. Havertz. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? But they took care of the situation defensively. Mount it did look on for them but not to be bodies forward and the break looks on effective from Ericsson how about the cross he read the situation defensively and did his job Mount goalkeeper has it And Mount. On to Jorginho. Kai Havertz. Hudson Odoi. What can Chelsea do from this position? Mount. Firing it in. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Let's see about the delivery. It didn't happen for them. Mount. Crossing into the middle. Not really the ideal clearance. Hudson Odoi. Chance to play it in. Mount. Oh, good-looking run. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. So underway again, Chelsea with the lead, but absolutely no room for complacency. Ivan Toney. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. And space here on the flank. Can he play it in? Flirting with more than a bit of danger following that challenge. He's already been booked. 
And his day is done. Second yellow card, Stuart. Well, I have to say, it was coming. Why was he not taken off earlier? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. He plays it short. He has time to play it over. Sergi Canos. Eriksson. Vitali Janelt. Tony. And out for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. So a personnel change then. Marcos Alonso. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Pulisic. On and on he goes. Pulisic. Teammate in support. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Deep delivery. And turned onto the woodwork. Oh, it's gone in, would you believe? And that is going to be classified as an own goal. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. Eriksson. Christian Nurgaard. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. A different story next time, no doubt. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And close but offside nonetheless. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Difficult to stop him. And Pulisic has it. Teammate available. Touched onto the woodwork. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Pulisic 
Reese James. Pulisic. Well, possibilities inside the box. And giving the ball away. Ivan Tony. Henry. Ericsson. Possession changes hands. The interception there. And just five minutes remaining. Still alive. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Baptiste. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. And it's played into the centre. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Nicely cut out. So the final whistle, and what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. And a good performance, as we've come to expect from N'Golo Conte. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well, too. Clearly the difference maker today.